This is the 2022 Wild West Adventure Tour. Presented by Go Mammoth Overland Rally. Brought to you by Go Mammoth Rooftop Tents, Extreme Four Wheel Drive Off Road, Clayton Off Road, and Dayton Metal Fabrication. It's day two for the Wild West Adventure Tour 2022. We start this day just outside Lake City, Colorado. It's a gorgeous one. Freezing yesterday. Huh. Yeah, we uh, had a uh, zero degree uh, sleeping bag and it was still a little bit cold up there. Uh, I feel bad for Gabe because he had to sleep in the hammock and then it started raining. So, no good. We gotta fix that today. <laughs> On the way to Black Bear Pass, I had a chance to get to know a few of this year's participants. Um, my name is Stephanie Kubitschek. Um, I am from New York City, and I work as a firefighter for the FDNY. Being one of the few female firefighters in New York is, is tough, but it's rewarding. You definitely have to work a little harder to prove yourself, but the look on little girls' faces as you're driving by in the rig is absolutely amazing. You know, knowing that they can see me, as I saw a firefighter, a female firefighter when I was younger, gave me the uh, idea that maybe I could do this one day. And it's a very, very difficult job. It's one of the hardest things that I've ever done in my life. But it's enjoyable, it's scary, it's exhilarating. Um, I get to help people and it affords me the opportunity to do things like this. The schedule is great as well. My rig is a 2020 JL Wrangler Sport, little two-door, 2.0 V4. I got it um, two years ago, pre-pandemic, and I spent most of COVID building it up, and I still have a long way to go, but it's pretty capable now. I did a re-gear to 488s. I have a um, Clayton off-road um, Overland 2.5 inch lift, new brake lines, you know, the general roof rack, all that other stuff for overlanding. I started probably two years ago I've always wanted a Jeep Wrangler. It was the car to have in Venezuela, where I'm from, and wheeling and four by fouring was very, very popular there. And it was always the Tudor white Jeep that everybody had. So I've always wanted that vehicle. My name is Stephen Melusa from Long Island, New York. Right now I do public safety for the town of Oyster Bay in Long Island, Nassau County. I was in the Marines from 2012 to 2016 doing aviation ordnance on the AV-8 Harrier out of Yuma. I've been wheeling for almost three years. I got my first Jeep in November 2019, the day after Thanksgiving, actually. So, my rig, I call it Juba, from the movie Gladiator. Got the full truss Gus 513s, new drive shafts, uh, Evo lift, six and a half. We did the whole Interior, audio, seats, dashboard. Just random lights everywhere. Just random things. I'm looking for a nice little getaway from New York. Get back out on the West Coast for the trails. I was not stationed out here, but I was doing private contracting for the Navy in Ridgecrest, California. So it's nice to get back out this way to the mountains. Enjoy the Jeep for what it can do again. What do you think about the group that we have so far? I fucking love this group. Oh, sorry for the language. It's, it's such an amazing group. I love all these guys. I just met uh, probably about 80% of them on Thursday. Just all great people. We headed back up the Million Dollar Highway and found ourselves at the trailhead of Black Bear Pass. 
Black Bear stretches 12 miles into Telluride and is only open a few months out of the year, usually from late July to early fall. Happy when we finish. You'll be okay. You're going to be right behind him and we got you. All right? Who else is that half pucker right now? All right, thank you. I'm cool. <laughs> I'm cool. You're I'm cool, yeah. You got no All right, guys, so we're going to do Black Bear Pass now. Everybody's going to be super safe. We're going to cover and spot everybody. So anybody's scared or worried about anything, just call in the radio. We stop. Either Eric will go from the back or we'll go from the front or backwards. In 10, good, good. Let's go, guys. Let's have fun. So what do you think, man? Um... This is a bucket list, you know, Black Bear Pass. It's been on my bucket list for a long time. I've been trying to do this in seven years and I haven't been able to do it. So now, 2022, finally getting uh, getting ready to do it. And um, it's gonna be amazing. We got a group of uh, 10 vehicles, um, really nice uh, overland trucks, gladiators, we got a JL, uh, Ram, TRX, uh, we got a JL two door. It's gonna be fun. Originally a mining trail, Black Bear was named after the original Black Bear mine and mill that produced ore in the late 1800s. The trail was put to rest when the claims in the area dried out and was no longer inhabited by people. It wasn't until 1959 when the trail was reopened to motorized traffic, thanks in part to the Telluride Jeep Club. Since then, the trail has been named a must-do trail for all off-road enthusiasts. The part of Black Bear most talked about is the downhill switchbacks. But in my opinion, the ascent is much more special. privilege all at the same time <laughs> beautiful and absolutely terrifying thing and that's enough about my life <laughs> <laughs> awesome man <laughs> that was crazy i can't believe i did this why did i agree to this this is so much fun this is this has got an amazing view up here yeah, this is crazy. and it's cold really really chill. cold yeah, it's pretty chill, hey? talk to me goose, goose. What's, what's going on, Gabe? What'd you think? I thought it was pretty awesome. It's nice being up here. Looking forward to going down. A little white knuckle, but it'll be uh, fine. What'd you think of the views? Oh, they're awesome. I was up here in 1985. I didn't go down the steep side, so it should be fun. Having fun so far. Yeah, these views are definitely... Hey, stay there. I'm going to try to get a photo of you. They're, they're getting a little better than the last trail. Pretty amazing up here. <laughs> Epic. I mean, me personally, I like taking the pictures. I like looking at all this nice view. And I've been doing this by myself. And one of my dream was I wanted to bring people on what I felt. I just wanted to share that together. And I felt like I got finally doing this in this trip. So. It's epic and I appreciate it to everybody and appreciate it to all this nice natural over here. Yeah, it's, uh, I just want to continue and keep on doing this. Everyone got their photos and video and got back into their temperature controlled rigs. The wind and cold was enough. Time to go.
By the time we got to the steps, we could see a storm coming from the distance. Our goal at that time was to get everyone down safely because any rain can decrease ground stability and flash floods have been an issue in the area for the past few weeks. I checked that off. I'm done. I'm never gonna do it again. They didn't have a heart attack, so we're good. Yeah, they good. I did. The business right here. <laughs> I was a little nervous. Good job, man. You guys did a great Thank job. You guys, yeah, no, you, patient. you were freaking fantastic. Heavy rain came in. I put down the camera to assist with the spotting. Although this is only my second time on the trail, I knew the line for long wheelbase rigs, and getting everyone safely down was the number one priority. On the next Wild West Adventure Tour. <laughs> 